going to do a quick video, another video, about enriching activities for your dogs. Um, and I've already done one, um, but I'm going to do another one, just covering a few other bits and bobs. So I raw feed my dogs, um, and one of the things that they really love are marrow bones. So I give them the marrow bones, they get to eat all of the marrow from the inside, and then I've got a ready-made treat dispenser. <laughs> so what I then do is I either stuff it with raw meat um, or a high quality wet food. So fourth glade's really cool. Um, it's grade three, 90% meat. Yeah, um, that's one of the wet foods that I do recommend. Lily's Kitchen is also really cool, but this one's really good because it's quite firm. Um, so you can really shove it in there. Then what I tend to do is I um, pop them in the freezer so that they're really rock solid and then it's really nice cooling treat for a dog on a hot day, if we get any more hot days. Um, and it also lasts them longer, so happy days. Um, what I then do is I also keep the cardboard outer of the fourth glade packets or a lot of other wet foods come with this um, cardboard packet because you can use this later on to um, put food inside of it in that pocket and scrunch it up for your dog to then tear apart and find the food in there. Now what I tend to use inside cardboard because I don't um, do kibble, um, there are plenty of good quality kibbles out there but I feed my dogs raw. So one of the um, dry kind of treats that I use or a kibble that I do recommend is um, Zeewee Peak, which is a really awesome food. It is so expensive, so that's the main reason why I don't feed it to my dogs, and it's actually quite rich as well. Um, smells awesome, and it comes in these teeny tiny little squares, like really teeny tiny, but you can break these squares up smaller again. Um, and use them as really teeny tiny treats for a small dog. So my Daxies get these a lot because they're really handy to use for training treats. Dogs, come here. Here you go, come here. Do you want some? Good girl. So, marrow bones, reusing them, that's really awesome. Something that you can do. Out of packaging of uh, wet foods that you can use. I'm gonna sit back a bit. You can't really see me so good for that. I'll see the box of this. So I've then got the box that all of this fourth blade came in, which I also keep. Um, and the outer packaging that I can then scrunch up and chuck in here. I've also got some thrive liver treats that I've popped in there. Um, and again, like in my other video, just a load of toilet rolls. Okay, so I do the same thing with the toilet rolls. I'm just folding the I'm just folding the bottom bit over, yeah, to create like a little pocket. And then I'm just popping a treat inside there, or you can put like a handful of kibble or whatever, and then scrunching it up really tightly to make it hard for the dog and popping it into the big box. Okay. Initially, when you first want to get a dog interested in something like this, they might not necessarily understand to tear the packaging apart quite so um, enthusiastically. So what I would probably do then, and what I've had to do with Dolly, is kind of just fold over the end, put a bit of food in there. Dolls, come on then. Good girl. Just putting one little bit in there and leaving it open. Dolly, come here. Let me put the back so you can see that. Come on then. And just letting her see that it's in there. Dolls, is it okay? Good girl. Just to build up their confidence with trying with them. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Just to try and build up their confidence in the exercise. And then they can kind of play around with it just with the end open there, which is what Dolly's doing. Good girl. 
Henry knows the behaviour really well because we've done it with him a lot. So, Henry's turn. So if I folded it over for Henry, I could then put a treat inside there and scrunch it up, up and he knows exactly that it's in there. Sit. Boy. Oh, that's lovely. So pretty. Okay. <laughs> you get it. And he'll take it off now. And he'll not leave him. Good girl. And he'll take it off now, and he's holding it with his front paws, and he's just dissecting that whole thing, which is cool. Dolly's taken hers into her bed as well. Um, so, yeah, so teach your dogs how to do the exercise first, if they're not quite sure about it, or just let them work it out, and it'll take them even longer. But you can fill a whole box with all of your empty toilet rolls, scrunched up and put inside there, Um, and then what you can do, so I've got like three or four toilet rolls in here, which have got um, the outer packaging of the fourth bay. Shove it with some toys to hide them a little bit better. Mix it all up, you can um, put some newspapers in there, all crunched up as well, um, just to make it harder for them to root around and find it. Okay, Henry, come on then, come and find the other bits. So I'm going to step back here. Henry's. So Henry's going to root it in here. Look, that one. Good boy. That one's all gone. That one's dead. Find it. And then he can have a search around in the box, find each individual toilet roll that's got bits in there. He might choose to play with some of the toys. Good boy. And it's just another way of him finding, using his nose, mentally tiring himself. And it's just a fun thing for him to do. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put up a few more videos like that because I think the more we can mentally stimulate our dogs, the less likely they are to um, become destructive in the home. The less likely they are to be frantic and hyper, um, start chewing our stuff to bits. Yeah, if we give them that enrichment that they need, um, then they're happier, which means that we're happier. So I'm just going to let Henry enjoy that for probably the next 20 minutes. Um, and then we'll go out for a walk. Okay. Bye.